Hey, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we the daily challenge for June 17th, 2023. The character of the Watcher and the modifiers are shiny, starting beggars place with one of every rare card. Colorless cards, colorless cards are unpaying rewards, and binary card rewards contain only two cards. I'll definitely try to go for the Highlander modifier here because of binary and two colors. I see each of you here with 1580. That's a pretty good score. And then, yeah, let's just get started. I'll review the scores from today and yesterday later. So first, let's review the shiny deck for the Watcher and the colorless card. So there's Lesson Learned that I always want to use, Omniscient's Wish, and then also the Hand of Greed. And Apotheosis, actually, that'll make things easier, right? Yeah, and ideally, I mean, my Blast wouldn't be a bad idea. I'm already starting off with a pretty large deck. All right, so is there a three lead path? No, multiple two lead paths, though. So if I go on the far left, I'll get one, two, three, four, five question mark rooms, and turning right doesn't matter, okay? And then if I start on the right, I'll get one, two, three, four, just four, right? Actually, if I turn left, that's, is that also five? One, two, three, four. No. So I think the best path is to have the f uh, four early question mark rooms and then get one of these late question mark rooms. And then between this point and this point, I can uh, choose. I guess it's the same as them. It just depends whether I want to fight the elite earlier or later. I'd probably go for the later elite. All right, let's get started. All right, so I have to remember, especially in early fights, I do want to double play the wish as much as I can. Too bad it's not upgraded. I guess I could wait for the... Um... Actually, that might have been a good idea. Wait, let me reload real quick, just because I don't want to start off by making a mistake. I, sh I have the secret technique, right? So I can draw the Apotheosis, which upgrades the um, the Miracle as well. So if I grab the Apotheosis, this upgrades the Miracle, which means then I can play the Omniscience, and then I can also um, play the Wish and gain slightly more gold. Yeah, let's do that. I will take some damage, but I think that's fine. Um, here, let's do Thinking Ahead and put the Hand of Fleet back. I could try to use that next turn as well. Good. And then lesson learned is the other thing I would like to use here. Uh, here, which one? Let's kill the one with the most um, block. And then do I want to wait for lesson learned? Or do I want to wait for Hand of Greed to come back? That might be a little too greedy. Yeah, I think lesson learned is fine. Actually, I guess I don't really need to upgrade anything other than the Apotheosis pretty much, right? So, yeah, maybe I don't need to play the lesson learned. Um, here, let's do Transportation, see what I get. Dark Shackles is pretty good. Let's do Flash of Steel and then Panache and Blind. Okay. All right, so now I just need the uh, lesson learned, really. Uh, is that going to be enough? Uh, here, let's grab the lesson learned. There it is. And that upgrades a uh, chrysalis. Yeah, fine. Not super necessary, but I'll take it. Crescendo or crush joints? I do have blasphemy. I'm not sure about crescendo. I think with all the skills I have, crush joints might be much better. Okay. Upgrade to run cards. That's transportation. Seeker technique upgrade. The seeker technique upgrade is actually kind of nice. Remove transform upgrade. I could... Anything I need to transform. There's nothing that's completely useless, right? Yeah, I also don't think I need to remove, so let's upgrade the Apotheosis, start off with that right away, okay? So now I don't actually need to upgrade anything else. Alright, Spike Slime and Acid Slime, mm, not the best start here. Let me do Deva Form, that'll make my life easier here. I'll do Transportation just to get rid of it as well, okay? I do have the Hexagos at the end, right, so I don't mind losing HP, I should be careful not to lose too much though. Yeah, there's the Omniscience, I probably should Omniscience the Wish, right? Any chance I could draw the Apotheosis? Let's give that a try. No. And I drew the Wish now. That's a bummer. Hmm. Alright, I think instead I'll, I'll recycle, wait for the... Or reshuffle, wait for the Omniscient to come back. So let's kill this one with the Hand of Greed. And then I can do Establishment and accept more damage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here I want to grab the Apotheosis. Play that. Then, um, I don't, I mean, I might as well play this to get rid of it, and then let's do, actually, let's do Master of Strategy and then do Vault. That way I'll shuffle faster. I will do Brilliance, though, and yeah, let's do Vault. Okay. And then here, should I do another Violence? It won't draw me anything, actually. Well, let's still play. Mayhem is probably not necessary. I guess Magnetism is fine. Thinking ahead, put the Secret Weapon back, and then just wait. Okay. Another 10. Uh, Hand of Greed. No, no, I need to wait for the Omniscience, I think. So, anything that'll give me block? Not really. Yeah, fine. I'll, I'll, here, let's grab something. And then I'll just wait. Okay. Not happy with how much HP I'm losing, but might be worth it if I can get the Omniscience before the Wish. I didn't, fine. I still got 30 gold out of it, and I can still play Hand of Greed. Good. Okay, I got an Attack Potion for an Influencer. Collect. Not a huge fan, but for an Influencer, might be really nice. Let's take that. 
Okay. And then remove a card. No, I think I'll get uh, gain the gold. I don't think there's anything that I urgently need to remove. From a knob. Okay, starting off with Apotheosis is great. There's the Omniscience. I don't think I'll be greedy this time. I think I'll Omniscience the Ragnarok, actually. Yeah, let's do that. So let's do Miracle, then Omniscience. And then, yeah, probably Ragnarok. I mean, that's 72 damage. I don't need much to kill next turn. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have an attack potion too. Let's see what this gives me. Panache? Yeah, fine. Not super necessary, but I'll take it. All right, 14. Another Panache. Uh, actually, Judgment kills, right? Can I Seeker Technique anything that would allow me to... Actually, if I get the Wish for Plated Armor, there's no way I can kill, right? Because I don't have energy. Um, yeah, so actually, if I Seeker Technique the Seeker Weapon and then grab a Hand of Greed, at least that way I'll get a little bit of gold out of this. Good. Got Mummified Hand. When you play a Power Card, Rend Card in your hand costs zero that turn. That's really good. Sash Whip, Pressure Point. Sash Whip is pretty good, right? Um, yeah, I think I'll take Sash Whip. Definitely not pressure points. Definitely it's Sash Whip. All right. Good thing I was greedy so far. I Prismatic Shark might make it easier to go for the Handlander modifier, huh? I'm not sure. It's not super cheap. I think Pendant would be better. Every 10th attack you play deals double damage. And then White Beast Statue is really nice too. I won't be able to afford any other cards, but I think that's fine. Yeah, let's take it. White uh, Potions always appear in combat rewards. Yeah, I think that's safe. I could imagine going for Prismatic Shard, but I, I think I should be fine without it too. All right, Jawworm, 11 incoming. Let's do Sadistic Nature. That makes the Scrawl cost zero. Uh, let me play Miracle first, then Thinking Ahead. Okay, put this back because then Devotion makes the Chrysalis cost zero. Okay, then do Scrawl. Mm -hmm. And then uh, there's the Hand of Greed that I... I mean, I should probably still play, right? Um, let me see. So let's do Miracle. I could also just do the Vault, right? Let's see what this gives me. Talk to the end is nice. Okay. And then, um, I don't have another cheap power. I'll do Inner Peace Master of Strategy. Oh, there's Panic Button. No, no, I think what I'll do here, I'll, I'll do Foreign Influence, Core Surge, and then and then just Vault, okay? Mm -hmm. And then there's a Wish. I mean, am I okay taking 11 damage? Yeah, probably. I mean, I could also, actually here, if I do Blasphemy, then I can kill with a Sash Whip, and I can also Wish for Gold. Okay, good. All right, got a Dex Potion, Rush Down Light Water. I'm not in Calm at all, right? So I don't think I'll take either of those. Come okay. Here, I got Courier, Merchant Resource Card, Felix and Potions, and all prices are reduced by 20%. Okay, now I really need to get greedy. Get greedier if I can. All right, Panache, Crush Joints after the Miracle, then Scrawl. Okay, there's the Apotheosis. That's nice. I might want to do Vault here, though. Yeah, let's do Vault. And then, yes, I was hoping for the Omniscience to double play the Wish for 60 gold. Mm -hmm. And then, unfortunately, I'll take 12 damage, but that's okay. Is that okay? A little worried. Very low on HP here. And I can't really heal. Secret Technique. Um, I can, again, kill with the Sash Whip. Can I grab a Hand of Greed? Yes, I have Secret Weapon. So let's do Secret Technique, the Secret Weapon, grab the Hand of Greed, and together with Blasphemy, that is enough to kill. Good. Mm -hmm. Got a weakness push, which I don't think I'll take. Just lucky panacea. Just lucky is fine. All right, sentries. I do have to be careful. I don't have a lot of HP and no way to defend at all. Wow. Um, hmm. Let's do thinking ahead. Blasphemy. That'll be 15. Might that be enough? I think I have to try it. I don't think I have another choice. I also have the attack potion, so that might help. All right, let's do blasphemy. Then Ragnarok. Okay, this has to give me something amazing. It didn't. Cut through fate might work though. So first of all, let's kill the backliner, get rid of this. And then I need any damage card. Any damage card. I don't think there's anything I can do here, right? Let me reload and see if there's anything that I can do to salvage this. Uh, maybe play the attack potion first. Would that change anything? Yeah, this is the problem, right? I don't have any block. I mean, I could I could survive with the Essence of Steel. I'm hoping to not have to do that, though. So maybe I don't do thinking yet. Also, it does draw me two cards. Let me do Attack Potion first. Okay, different cards this time. Dramatic Entrance is not a bad idea. I think I'll do that. Okay, then do Thinking Ahead. All right, and then do Blasphemy. Okay, now the Dramatic Entrance does a lot of damage, and Ragnarok should kill everything, right? 
All right, yeah. I mean, had to reload, but was able to perfect this one. We got Bag of Marbles, set the Shavage Combat of I-1 Vulnerable to all enemies, as well as a Block Potion. That will definitely help me. And then a Third Eye. I can't take any rare cards to try to go for Popper. I have to go left for an extra question mark room. Next upgrade should probably be the Wish first, and then the Omissions. Yeah, in case I don't draw the Apotheosis early enough. Well, at least I don't have to lose more HP with the Hexaghost. All right, losing HP, or no, gaining a Curse for Gold. So my first Curse so far, though, right? All right, 11 incoming. Uh, let's do the Miracles, and then... Uh, let me do Master Reality, and then Scrawl. Come. All right, there's Panache. That set the Mayhem to zero, which set the Bomb to zero. Let's do Devotion. I was hoping it was something would hit the Diva form. Uh, actually, hang on, Secret Weapon... Probably Ragnarok, right? Actually, no, if I do Magnetism, then Secret Weapon the uh, Ragnarok, the Deva form will make it free to play. Good. Okay, that way I don't have any incoming here. Let's do the bomb just in case, and then this Secret Technique is fine. Get rid Actually, I'll keep the Judgment. I will kill one of them. Um, actually, I could kill it now, but let's not do that. And then here I'll do a, a Dagger Spray. Yeah, that way uh, I killed by accident. All right, fine. Got a Fire Pusher, which I don't think I'll need. Flying Sleeves, Pressure Points. I think I'll skip both. Okay. And then next, I think I should upgrade the Omniscience. Should I upgrade the... Actually, I usually have enough energy. I think it might be better to upgrade the Blasphemy. That way I can hang on to the Blasphemy and play it whenever I'm ready. Okay. All right, so... I think starting off with Deva form is a pretty good idea. No, what I'll do is I'll do third eye. Vault is not a bad idea next turn. Then do Panache, then Deva form. Actually, let's do thinking ahead. Put the violence back. Do Deva form, then Vault. Okay. Not a bad play here. And then here, do I want to do violence? Do have double damage active, right? So maybe getting a nice Ragnarok would be good. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, yeah. Alright, I mean 75 damage, that's not that's not bad at all. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. And then Sash Whip. I do have to figure out how to defend next turn. I'll keep the Foreign Influence for later. I mean, I have a Block Potion, so that should help. Uh, there's a Wish. Hang on. I'm trying to think if there's anything I can do to avoid playing the Wish for Plated Armor, but I think I might have to do that. Which is fine, yeah. Let's Wish for Plated Armor. Okay. I mean, it might help me in the future, too. And then let's do Crush Joint Establishment, which sets the Chrysalis to zero. And I don't think I need to Secret Weapon anything. I guess I can Secret Weapon the Just Lucky. All right, and then there's some missions next turn. Good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Six incoming. Um, anything I actually need to omniscience? Um, not really, right? Uh, let me do Scrawl first. Yeah, let's do Miracle Devotion. That sets the Hand of Greed to zero, then Scrawl. Okay, Secret Technique will grab me the Apotheosis, which I'll definitely play, alright. And now I'm trying to think if I do triple damage with the, um, if I double play the uh, Blasphemy, if that would be enough. Uh, let's do Master Reality first, then um, might as well do Metamorphosis, get a bunch of attacks, then Master of Strategy. Okay, so this is 25, if, if I should just divide this by 3, right, so that'll be 42. Um, so 25 plus 11 is 37. Uh, 36, sorry. And then I need... Actually, Judgment, would that be enough? 36, 42. Yeah, I think that will be enough. So if I do Miracle... Play this for fun. Then Omniscience, the uh, the Blasphemy. And then do 75. Let's do follow-up first. And yeah, unfortunately, this is not enough. Uh, can I trigger Panache? Yes, if I do Magnetism. Okay. is This is still not enough. Bummer. All right, fine. I have to kill with the Judgment. All right, that's okay. Didn't get a lot of gold out of that, but that's fine. We got an attack push, which I don't think I'll take. I already have both of those, so I can't take any rare cards. I will probably go with the Calling Bell. I wonder if David will go for the Ring to it, but I don't think he should. I think today Calling Bell is much better. So I'm pick up a unique curse and three relics. That's curse number two, curse of the bell, as well as tiny chest. Let me think about that for a second. Eternal feather for every five cards you need to kill three each whenever you enter a rest site. And prayer will normal enemies drop an additional card reward. So here's the problem with tiny chest. Yesterday I picked up tiny chest, and I know for a fact that that changed the RNG drastically enough that I didn't see a wing boots. And I feel like I should be fine without extra relics. So I'm gonna skip this one today. I hope that was not the wrong decision. Wait, was this a rare one? Yeah, prayer will is a rare relic. Okay. All right, one, two, three. Uh, there's a three lead path on the right, and unfortunately has three question mark rooms. Actually, if well, if I choose no four question mark rooms, if I choose to turn right at the end. Okay, good. Yeah, fine. Not amazing, but you know, it's a good number of question mark rooms. All right, starting off, 
Um, yeah, I guess I'll do Apotheosis, Miracle, uh, Mayhem to make the Wish cost zero. Gain gold here, and then anything I need to Secret Technique at this point. Uh, I guess Omnisciencing the um, Hand of Greed is not going to be enough, right? So, uh, what about... Yeah, let's do Vault. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then here, that was Sadistic Nature, right? So, let's do Panache, Metamorphosis, Just Lucky... Um, establishment. I mean, yeah, I don't think I need that. Violence next turn is fine. I have to figure out a way to lose less HP because I feel like I lose HP every fight. There's a Hand of Greed. Can I somehow kill that way? Uh, let's do Crush Joints, Empty Fist. Oh, double damage Hand of Greed. Good. If I was in Divinity, that would have been enough for the Overkill modifier. An Energy Potion, which I don't think I'll need. Bowling Mash Tranquility is fine. Empty body, third eye. I already have the third eye. Let's take the empty body, and I might even consider tranquility. No, let's do bowling bash. Wouldn't mind having some AoE damage. All right, here I got curse number three, as well as the turnip. You can no longer become frail. Okay. And here's curse number four, shame, uh, which is to grade with turnip. Uh, I also got the boot. Whenever you do four or less unlocked attack damage, increase it to five. So right now I have four unique curses, right? So I have doubt, curse of the bell, wrath, and shame. So I just need a fifth one. Okay. A fifth unique one, ideally. All right, Looter and Mugger. Again, another great start. I, I guess I'll just do Chrysalis and Sash Whip, accept damage, and be unhappy. Mm -hmm. All right, another 20. Uh, there is Omniscience. I will risk being super greedy by Omnisciencing the Wish again and gain a lot of gold, although... Well, yeah, no, 60 gold. I didn't even need to play the Apotheosis because it's upgraded. The Wish is upgraded. Well, and the Apotheosis. Okay, 12 incoming. I really need to kill somebody here. Um, let's do secret weapon. Hang on. Uh, yeah, I think I have to do metamorphosis or bowling bash and judgment to avoid taking more damage. And then let's grab a one cost attack that is something like the brilliance. Okay. Then next turn I have to draw something amazing to be able to kill the backliner. Uh, well, I have spirit shield, which is nice, but not really necessary. Let's do empty mind first. Then Sadistic Nature, which set the... Uh, well, set something to zero. There's an Apotheos coming up, so let me play that first before playing the Miracles. All right, let's do Apotheosis here, and then Hand of Greed. Can I use it here? Um, let's do Mayhem, which set the Hand of Greed to zero. Miracle Sanctity. Okay. Panache, Violence, Crush Joints, and then Hand of Greed. There it is. Good. Okay. Got all the gold back. Another Essence of Seal Pusher, which I don't think I'll take. Panacea Prostrate. Tranquility Crush Joint. I already have this. I'm not sure about Tranquility. I'm not sure about any of these, really. Maybe the Panacea. It might be useful. Let's take it. Yeah. All right. Sentry and Sphere Guardian. Probably start with Vault, right? Actually, here. Let's kill the Backliner. That make my life, makes my life so much easier. And I'll play the Vault. The problem is now I can't do the Omniscience once I draw it. No, no, mind. No, mind. I'm good. Let's do Crush Joints. For an Influence gives me... Uh, Poison Stab, I guess? Choke? Let's do Poison Stab, sure. Alright. Mm -hmm. And then I'm waiting for the Omniscience here. Let me do the Miracles. Then Just Lucky, get rid of this, okay. Then Scrawl, yep. And then there's the Apotheosis, unfortunately. Not allowing me to play... Wait, can I defend here? Because I'll be okay with that. Uh, Master of Strategy, let's try that. Well, I mean, I could do Hand of Greed, but... I'd like to Omniscience the Wish. And if I'm in Divinity, I'll be able to deal um, over 100 damage. I can't just... I just can't defend, which is a problem, right? Yeah, fine. Let's avoid taking more damage and just kill here and get the um, get the extra gold that way. Got a Weakness Potion. Cut through Fate. I never picked one up, right? I thought I saw one, but I must have been from some other card. Yeah, let's take the Cut through Fate here. And here, Study might allow me to get the Combo Modifier. I'm pretty sure I can get Overkill. Combo might be a problem, so let's take that. All right, Grimmin Leader, who's not attacking me. And I start with Apotheosis. Oh, this is great. This is unfortunately not enough to kill, though. I don't want to use the Essence of Steel, but I might have to. Right, let's do Miracle, Deva Form. Cut through Fate. Um, I don't know if that helps, huh? Could do. I could do Empty Body. Okay, that way I don't have to use a potion. It does mean that next turn I'll be both weakened and I'll be guaranteed to be attacked, so that might be a problem. Mm -hmm. All right, um... Yeah, I don't know what I had to draw to be able to fully defend here. 27. Let's do Master Reality, Study, and then the Bomb. Wait, actually, <laughs> wow. If I, um, hang on, so 20, 30, 34. If I don't play the Block Potion, I'll be dead. So that's that's disappointing. Come, okay. No chance of perfecting this one, unfortunately. 
Mm -hmm. And I'm down to 3 HP, which is uh, not great. Alright, um, I would like to play the Omniscience, but do I want to be greedy? I mean, if I'm not perfecting, might as well be greedy, right? Let's kill this one with the Judgment first. Then do Brilliance to kill you. Yeah, fine, let's be greedy. Let's gain the gold. Again, already not perfecting, might as well, you know, have some fun here. Uh, do I have a rest site? I do if I turn... No, I can't turn right. Okay, that might be... That might be a challenge. Let's do one Miracle and then Transportation. Another Apotheos, which is useless. Let's do Violence and Just Lucky. Get rid of the Curse. Good. And uh, should I do here? Let's do Bowling Bash and Sash Whip. Okay. In case I get uh, get attacked, at least the enemy will be weakened next turn. Luckily, I didn't get attacked. Uh, let's do Master of Strategy. Now, there's a Spirit Shield that I don't really need. I don't think I can kill when entering Divinity. Let me see what I get here. Get rid of all of these. Actually, I'll keep the Crush Joints because then I can do... Um, yeah, let's do none of these. Magnetism is a power, okay. Then do Blasphemy. I'll risk it. Then do Scrawl, okay. Then I can do Crush Joints and Hand of Greed for 84. Okay, I need close to, but I'm not quite ready to perfect yet. Do I have another attack? I do. Okay, yeah, then let's do... Do I want to gain gold? No, I don't think I need to upgrade anything urgently. Let's gain the gold instead. Okay. That ink bottle, one of you play 10 cards, draw one card, as well as an exposure potion, and conclude. I'm really worried that I only have 3 HP, but I will power through, I guess. Uh, I mean, one unlucky draw and I'm dead, pretty much, right? Um, at least this is slightly lucky. Let me see what the Master of Strategy gives me first. Wait, do I have a curse that makes me lose HP? No, no, good, good. That would be pretty bad. Uh, Alright, so, how do I do this? I might have two munitions for plated armor. Yeah, that's 6 plus 7 and 13. That, even that is not enough. I have to drink the dex potion as well, right? Alright. I mean, even entering a rest site would heal me back up. It just... I don't have any coming up. Alright. Uh, let's do... Yeah, let's... Uh, double play the wish to gain plated armor. Actually, maybe... I, wait. Let me get one set of plated armor and then I'll get gold. Still be greedy because that way I can still fully defend with the empty body. Right? 17. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. All right, and then here, I would love to do double damage with the Pendant, but I can't. Um, let's do... Pen Wait, uh-oh. Uh Actually, I'm, I have played it armor, right? I'm good. I mean, might as well do Ragnarok, right? Oh, wow. All five hits hit the bird. That's impressive, actually. Come. Mm -hmm. And then I didn't get the debuff. That's good. A lesson learned upgrade something. I mean, might as well, right? Let me see what this gives me. Secret technique would give me probably Omniscience, right? Yeah, let's put this one. Not omniscient, sorry. I meant the, um, what do I call it? The apotheosis. Let's do that. And then play free, free, free this, free this. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just do lesson learned. All right. Deva form upgrade is actually kind of nice. And then let's do transportation. Oh, I don't have energy. I forgot. Um, I guess I'll do miracle and conjure blade. Okay. 15 times 3 would be enough with the blasphemy. Uh, 16. Yeah, I can grab the, um, End of Greed is only 75. Uh, I Well, and then I have Mind Blast. Yeah, I think that should be enough if I do Blasphemy, then Mind Blast, and then Hand of Greed for a kill. Oh, actually, that was just exactly enough with the weakness. Okay, I got closer than I'd like. Empty Mind. I never picked that up, did I? I feel like I saw one. No, no, let's take it. It's extra card draw, which is always nice. And then Dramatic Entrance is a little dangerous. I'll take it. Very worried about my first turn. Okay. Uh, no way to heal, though, unfortunately. All right. Um, Chemical Glass is not bad. Uh, the effect of your cost X cards are increased by two. Do I want Bottle of Fame? I pick up choosing text. I just come with this card in your hand. Let me first focus on cards. No, I don't think I see anything amazing. A single Bowl might transcend into some max HP. So when adding cards in two deck, you may raise your max HP by two instead. And then, yeah, let's take the Bottle of Fame. And then the first attack, I think, should be the Cutthroat Fate to allow me to draw things. Potentially. Yeah, let's take it. Lantern, so I just come with additional energy. That's also nice. Uh, I don't think I need letter opener. Do I need anything else? Not a huge fan. Maybe the meditate. Yeah, let's take letter opener. Why not? Every time I play three skills in a second turn, deal three damage to all, or five damage to all enemies. It's a bummer I can't afford the bag of preparation. That would have been really good. Okay. Yeah, Spine of the Mass, the Merchant Card, the so it's not always cost 50 gold. Okay. Really risky, but I mean, I have to risk it. Basically, I can't make a mistake ever. I mean, I still have good potions, so that's good. Secret so weapon would give me an attack. What would that be, though? Let me do cut through fate first. 
Oh boy, cut through fade. I really don't want any of these. Okay, violence is not a bad idea. Let's do dramatic entrance next. Okay, then violence. Lesson learned. That doesn't even kill one of them, right? Okay, let me see. Secret weapon. I mean, Ragnarok is the best thing, but Hand of Greed maybe? It's expensive. Yeah, I can't think of anything better to secret weapon. Let me see what the attack potion gives me here. Weave, Sense of Time, or Flying Sleeves. It will be zero cost, so Sense of Time is not a bad idea. And then I do have an explosive. Actually, wait, this is enough to kill the background, right? So let's do Sense of Time. Then Just Lucky. Try and desperately figure out a way to survive this one. So if I do Just Lucky, the bomb is probably not necessary. Then Sash Whip. Then with the uh, Essence of Steel, I'll be fully defended. I just have to kill this one. 30 damage with vulnerability. No, the Hand of Greed is not upgraded, right? Actually, no, that's exactly 30 damage, right? Yeah. Okay. So then, if I drink the Essence of Steel, I'll be not only able to survive, but also be fully defended. Okay. That was surprising. Mm, okay, this is where my luck might stop. Uh, so let's see if the Transportation gives me any attack. Okay. Because then I can do Miracle Blasphemy. And then do Flash of Steel and Violence. Awesome. Um, 96. So close to being able to get the Overkill modifier. Fine. Alright, I mean, I survived this one. We got Lizard Tail. Oh, this is really good. Whenever you die, heal to 50% of your max HP instead. That's really nice. As well as a Swift Potion, Wheel Kick, or Empty Fist. I'll definitely take the Wheel Kick. Okay. And then, yeah, actually, since I just spent... No, I have to go... I have to go right for another crush mark room. Yeah, bummer. I won't be able to. 4D membership card. What a shame. Ah, that's a huge shame. Ah, I can't believe this. All right, fine. Yeah, popper and membership card would have been really nice. All right. Without it, I guess... I don't know if I need battle him. It is another power. It doesn't hurt having good attacks. Yeah, let's take the battle him. I'm upset about this. All right, fine. Fine. Okay. So, Snake Plant, I do have to be careful. I mean, I have Lizard Tail, but still. Um, let's start with Cut Through Fate. Okay, grab the uh, Apotheosis. I'm not sure if that was the smart idea, but let's do it. Then Establishment, Dramatic Entrance. Ooh, Secret Weapon, hang on. Anything else that gives me card draw? Uh, not really. Well, an, an attack that gives me card draw. I guess Wheel Kick? I mean, it does give me card draw. Fine, let's do Wheel Kick. There's nothing else that gives me card draw, right? Yeah, let's do the Wheel Kick. And then do Miracle, Wheel Kick. Brilliance, Empty Body. So even, wait, I heal back to 50% of my max HP. Yeah, I'll definitely be alive. I'm just trying to figure out if there's a better way. Uh, if I do Empty Body, that nah, doesn't really matter, right? I'm losing HP anyway, so never mind. I can kill here. Okay, keeping the uh, Lizard Tail for later. We got a Gamblish Brew and already have these two, so I'll take max HP. And yeah, I think here I'll take max HP too. I need to get to, wait, I start off at 90, uh, wait, 70, 72, 72, yeah, so I need to get to 102. All right, Book of Stabbing, 12 incoming. Let's start with Cut Through Fate. Uh, there's Omniscience. I might have to Omniscience Plated Armor here. Yeah, let's do that. Again, not, not really getting a lot of gold. If I had used the Wish more aggressively, I would have been able to afford that membership card. That might have made a huge difference. And then here, do I need to apply weakness? Not really. I think I'll just do dramatic entrance and nothing else. Mm -hmm. Alright, 18. Um, blasphemy. Is that enough to kill? It really depends what the violence gives me. Let's do sadistic nature. Then violence. Uh, this might be enough, right? Yeah, especially since I have double damage coming up soon, right? So let's do blasphemy. Then crush joints. Uh, then brilliance. I can't do double damage because I have to choose between conclude and there's only 90 damage. All right, fine. I mean, this still kills, but yeah, that's okay. Got Happy Flower. Every, th every three turns, get extra energy. A Fear in a Bottle, which I don't think I need. I already have the Letter Opener. And then Third Eye Bowling Bash. I'll go with the Max HP again. Okay. Oh, I already have more than 50 cards, so I don't have to worry about this. I don't think I need to remove anything, especially because I can just remove at shops for 50 gold. So that's cheaper. And then next, I th should upgrade the Cut Through Fade to draw more things. Yeah, especially because it's always in my opening hand, right? Okay. All right, Collector. I might start off with the Eva form. Let me see what the Cut Through Fate gives me. Um, yeah, let's keep the Spiritual for next one. Actually, I'm going to do the Secret Technique to grab the Apotheosis. So let's grab the Apotheosis now. Because then I can play the Eva form to make the Apotheosis free. Oh, I did draw the Spiritual, though. That's a problem. 
I was hoping to keep it for next turn. Doom and Gloom, Rebound, Anger. I can't even rebound the Spirit Shield, right? I guess I'll do Doom and Gloom then. Hmm. Yeah, annoying because next turn I might have trouble defending. And I got attacked by quite a bit. Can I kill? I do have Blasphemy and Wheel Kick. And a bunch of good potions. Let me start with Miracle Empty Mind. Okay. I mean, I'm going to risk... Yeah, let's do Blasphemy. Alright. Then just Lucky. Sadistic Nature Vault will kill me, right? So let's get rid of both of these, actually. Then do Wheel Kick. Yeah, I needed Ragnarok or Violence. Okay, hang on. Um, let's do Miracles. Do I want to do Metamorphosis? It might give me something amazing. I have the energy. I just don't have the card draw. Let's do Violence. Okay, there's Crush Joints Ragnarok. That should really hit the backliner more, but this is enough. All right, perfect this one. Can't complain. Okay, so we got Liquid Memories, which I don't think I'll take, and I can't take any of this either. Actually, no, let me take Liquid Memories over the Gambus Brew. Actually, maybe over the Explosive Potion would have been better. And then, yeah, Curse Key would guarantee me at least one more Curse. The problem is it might be a duplicate, but I'm willing to take those chances. So let's take it. Get Energy at the start of your turn. One of you open a non boss chest to obtain a Curse. Okay. All right, Time Eater at the end. Ideally, I would have shop right off the chest, just in case I have to remove a duplicate Curse. Um, no, no, looks like... The only shops are early on. And if I want to get the three elite path, I have to sort of risk it. Yeah, so one, two, three elites and three question mark rooms. Actually, no, four question mark rooms if I go on the left. Yeah, so left, turn right, and then just hope I don't get a duplicate curse. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think here I'll be greedy. So let's omniscience the wish for gold. It's at the bottom right. And then I think I'll do Dramatic Entrance, then Cut Through Fate you. Oh, there's the Apotheosis. I probably should grab that. Actually, I can grab it with the, uh, with the Master of Strategy, right? Yeah, let's do that. Master of Strategy, then Apotheosis, then Miracle, Brilliance, Kills, either one. Uh, actually, no, let's do Crush Joints to kill you, Brilliance to kill... Oh, I don't have double damage active. Okay, maybe I'll do Third Eye instead. Get rid of all of these, hoping to get maybe a hand of greed, because I think I should be able to kill. Hmm. Alright, eight incoming, secret weapon. Well, if it gives me hand of greed, I won't be able to kill with it. Let's do Panacea first and Scrawl. Alright, there's Blasphemy that I think I'll play, because I'm pretty confident about this. Master Reality, Violence. And then, actually, let's do Lesson Learned first, because again, I don't think I need upgrades as much as I want to do... Um, that double damage will be overkill. I want to get more gold. Okay, we've got Bottled Miracle, which I don't think I'll take. Consecrate Flying Sleeves. Yeah, I think I'll take the max HP. And here I'll take max HP too, because I already have enough cards. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get some cardless cards here. So this is Nature Madness. Uh, no, max HP. Mind Blast. Yeah, you know what? I have enough cards. Let's take it now. And then Dark Shack is also pretty good. Come. Okay. All right, so have to go to the shop. Um... Can't afford a lot of good things here. Talk to the end is really good, though. I think I should take that. Yeah. And then, what else? I mean, might as well take some relics, right? Yeah, let's take the Vajra Sage come with one additional strength. And then I can't afford anything else. Do I want Halt? Not really. Nirvana is not going to be that useful. I think I'm good. Yeah, there's no reason to waste, uh, waste gold. Is there anything I need to remove at a shop? No, no. I think I'm fine. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, Orb Walker here, 15 incoming. Mind Blast. Okay, now double damage or uh, getting the Overcome modifier is much easier. Let's do Cut Through Fate. Uh, probably get rid of these. Take the Panache. Then do Dramatic Entrance, Sash Whip, and Mind Blast. Okay. Got a Stance Potion, which is probably not necessary. Cut Through Fate, Tranquility. Already have both. No, I don't have tr Tranquility, but I don't think I need it. Let's just take Max HP. And then here, definitely want to fight for a Relic. Okay. Mind Blast is 75. Can I get double damage? That'll be really nice. Uh, let's do Dramatic Entrance first. Then Cut Through Fate. Uh, you, because I can Mind Blast the other one, right? Uh, there's a Hand of Greed that I can play. Okay. So, 72. Yeah, that should be enough, right? So, let's do Hand of Greed. And then double damage. Finally get the Overcome Modifier with the Mind Blast. And unfortunately, I can't do the Wish. Yeah, fine. This is not the right fight to... Um, Sort of wait for the reshuffle, because that's going to take too long, and I will take way too much damage. Let's do Violence, Brilliance, Sash Whip, and uh, yeah. Oh, Lesson Learned is not actually enough. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, at least I can do something like a uh, bowling bash. Nope, never mind. Lesson learned is enough now. Good. Got the Ragnarok upgrade, which is nice. We got Pocket Watch. One of you play three or less cards in your turn. Draw three additional cards as you start your next turn, which is good. And then the Sea Reality is actually pretty nice. Yeah. Next upgrade, I think it should be the Omniscience, just to make sure I can play it easier once I draw it. If, if I don't have the Apotheosis played first, of course. Mm -hmm. And then here, Doubt is a duplicate curse, right? Yeah, I can't do this. So instead, upgrading all cards would put a lot of innate cards in my draw, uh, opening hand, which I don't want. I think I'll fight uh, the Aquaman boss for a rare, rare relic. And, I mean, deals 76 damage. Uh, let's do Cut Through Fate first. Uh, Spirit Shield next turn is nice. And grab the Conjure Blade, why not? Alright, so Secret Weapon doesn't bring me anything amazing. I think I'll just do Mind Blast. Uh, dramatic Entrance first, then Mind Blast, okay? And then I'll do Conjure Blade just because I have the uh, Chemical X as well. And now I have Spirit Shield here, which is nice. Next turn might be a problem, though. Yeah, let's do Spirit Shield, Devotion. Um, I guess I'll do Alpha, then Transmutation. I don't think I need Magnetism as badly. All right, lots of turns for Blindness. That's good. Then Magnetism to get a free Bowling Bash. Transmutation again. The Bomb, but one more Transmutation. That's three in a row. Okay, that was actually a fun turn. Um, yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. 12 incoming. Oh, this one, I don't even need to perfect this one, right? Because it doesn't count for anything. Uh, let's secret technique the... Did I already play Omniscience Wish? No, I don't think I did. Yeah, let's grab the Omniscience. Okay. Then Omniscience the Wish. Because this one doesn't matter in terms of perfecting, maybe I should um, try to get the combo modifier here by playing the Steady, although I might still take a bunch of damage, so I might want to try to avoid that if I can. I, I don't think I'll play anything here. Yeah, I think I'll fight a fight with the spikers to maybe try to get combo. Let's do finesse, violence. Uh, can I kill with the hand of greed? It'd be better. Actually, wait, I'm dealing 100 damage at the end of this turn, right? Uh, well, doesn't mean I can't really use the hand of greed. Uh, fine. Let's just do hand of greed, brilliance, and then I'll have the um, I'll have the pen and ready for next turn. Okay. Got a gamlet ship potion, or a relic at the Savage combat, discard any number of cards and, draw, and then draw that many, as well as liquid ones, which I don't think I'll need. Protect is pretty good. Still need to get to a lot of max HP, so maybe I should just... No, no, Protect is a good defensive card. I should take that. And then turning right, okay. All right, Nemesis, 18 incoming. I do have double damage with a lot of damage on turn one. I'll get rid of just a curse to make the mind plus not too weak. Yeah, I mean, 153, that's almost enough to kill, right? Okay, then cut through fate. Get rid of this and hope I'll draw the omniscience. I did not. Yeah, let's just kill here. Okay, got a perfect out of that. Got ice cream and energy to now conserve between turns, as well as a fear potion, which I don't think I'll need. Perseverance concerted here. I think I'll start taking max HP again. And then give me a unique curse. I got a wraith. That's not a unique curse. We got strawberry, though. Pick up race from HP by seven. Really hope I got an opportunity to remove a card somehow. Do I need a rest site? Or no, I think I don't have the peace by right. That would be really nice. Uh, no, I guess I'll just do regular fights. I only have one more question mark room coming up. Might be really hard to remove a curse by then. Okay, get rid of these two. Mm -hmm. And then Mind Blast. Uh, yeah, let's do Mind Blast, Cut Through Fate. Uh, Secret Technique would allow me to draw the Apotheosis. Let's grab that. And then might as well do Alpha, Dramatic Entrance, and I don't think I'll do Metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. 22. Uh, well, I can Omniscience the Gold. The wish, I mean. All right. And then Dark Shackles to avoid taking most damage, but I still will take some, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Another 22. Uh, let's do Empty Mind, hoping to get... Um, I was hoping to get the... Um, oh, wow. Don't have any way to defend. I was hoping to get the... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, Hand of Greed. That's the name of the card I was looking for. Lesson learned. No, I think I'll wait. Yeah, Hand of Greed, I think, is worth it. If I can get it. Um, let's do Master of Strategy. Still no Hand of Greed. Mm. Alright, fine. Let's just kill here. Uh, with the Sash Whip. Alright. Okay, got Blessing of the Fortune. I don't think I'll take with the Hand or Bowling Bash. Let's reject all of these. Okay. Oh, actually, wait. I already have, I have enough Max HP. Good, good. So here, maybe I should keep the Spiker alive? I might take a fo forever. No, no. I think I'll try to kill instead. Mm -hmm. So let's do Cut Through Fate first. Blasphemy Mayhem Sash Whip. Actually, can I kill with the... I might be able to kill with Blasphemy. 
Yeah, fine. Let's grab the Blasphemy then. Because then I can do... Get Overkill again, I guess. It's a lot of damage. And then I'll do Wheel Kick. And Dramatic Entrance. Actually, let me see if I can get the... Um... There's an Omniscience. Yeah, I should be able to play that, right? Because I can kill with the Miracle, uh, with the Dramatic Entrance. So it's Omniscience, the Wish. Mm -hmm. At least I get 60 gold out of that, so that's good. And then kill with Dramatic Entrance. Okay. Got a Power Push, which I don't think I'll take. Uh, skip this, and... I mean, nah, let's skip this too. Do I want the Power Push and Time Eater? Might not be a bad idea. Let me get rid of the Explosive Push, because that's not really necessary. Okay. Alright, Reptomancer... Well, there's Dramatic Entrance. That should help with some of the minions, at least. Actually, if I do Blasphemy, this should be enough, right? 76. Yeah, I think if I do Blasphemy, then this is enough to kill. Good. I should have Secret... Ah, kind of... Well, too late to reload. I should have Secret Technique the Omniscience. That's fine. We've got Dutch Parry up. When you obtain a Cursion, Cursion, your max should be by 6, as well as a Liquid Bronze Potion, and... Yeah, again, I'll take the max HP. Please allow me... Okay. Well, it does mean I won't be able to go for Curses, though. That's a problem, right? Yeah, but I think Highlander is better than Curses. So let's remove the uh, the Wraith. Mm -hmm. And then um, I might want to take the Tungsten Rod. That might help me in a pinch. One of you lose HP, lose one less. Let's also take the Orange Pelts. One of you play a power attack, attack and skill in the same turn. Remove all of your debuffs. And then I can't afford anything else that I already have. And I don't think I need Windmill Strike. And I can't get combo against the Time Eater, right? So this might be rough. Alright, 18. Get rid of this. Okay. I'll definitely... Well, let's do Cutthroat Fate first. Secret Technique might allow me to draw a defensive card. I might actually do that. So let's grab the... Um, what do you call the uh, card I'm looking for? Spirit Shield. That's the card I'm looking for. Oh, that alone is not enough? Wait, let's do Thinking Ahead. And then Spirit Shield. That is enough. Good. Okay, and then let's do Master Reality... Battle him, and that way I can play Mind Blaster, Mike Entrance, and Brilliance. Okay. That was barely enough to be fully defended. Fortunately, I have 45 incoming here. Yeah, not much I can do about that. Anything I can... There's nothing I can do to defend against that much, right? I'm trying to think if there's anything I could draw. No, nothing I can do. All right, fine. In that case, let's do Lesson Learned, Hand of Greed, and wait. Yeah, bummer. Can defend at all. So here, I think I should be able to kill if I do Blasphemy and then just once. No. Um, yeah, actually, let's do one Smite and Judgment. That way I'll have the um, Pendant Brighter for next turn. At Shuriken, every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain one Strength. An Exposed Push, which I don't think I'll need, and more Max HP. Okay. And then here, I'll upgrade, what, Mind Blast? Yeah, make, make it a little easier to play. Yeah, a bummer I lost combo. Well, I lost Curses. I was able to get Highlander, though. That's good. Uh, Secret Taking will allow me to get the Apotheosis. That's pretty nice. I think I should do it, although defending will be a problem. Let me do the Power Potion first. Panache, Magnetism, Mental Fortress. I mean, I don't... I barely... No, I, I never switch chances, right? I, I don't think I should take that. Magnetism is not a bad idea. Should I Secret Technique the defensive card instead? That might be better, actually. Omnisciencing the Wish would be 16 plated armor. 16 block. That's still not enough. I think I have to reluctantly grab the... Um, the Spirit Shield again. Here it is at the beginning. Okay. So let's... Oh, Spirit Shield alone is not enough either. Um, And I can't really draw anything with the Ink Bottle. I guess I'll do Swift Potion then. Okay. Now I can do Spirit Shield. All right. Then do Mind Blast. 141. That's not bad. Um, Yeah, let's do it. Double damage. Why not? And then Cut Through Fate. Get rid of all of these. Maybe I'll keep the Transportation. Fine, fine. Then do Panache, a Magnetism that hits the Deva form. Let me actually draw things first with Violence. Then do Deva form. Um, then do... Should I do Transportation? I would like to play the Crush Joints. Yeah, I can't apply Vulnerability. It's fine. Let's do Just Lucky first. Study is fine next turn. Then Sash Whip. Maybe Study is not that great. Yeah, I'm glad I drew it now. And then I think I'll just play the attacks. No need to play the transportation, so I think I'll just do dramatic entrance and crush joints. It's not quite enough to transform yet. But at least I have spirit shield, so I can bring it back with the liquid memories if I have to. 28, and I might have to here, right? Um, let's do finesse first. Okay. Then I think I have to bring back the uh, spirit shield. 
21. That's not even enough, right? So maybe wheel kick first. Okay. All right. Then apotheosis, then spirit shield. That is enough. Good. And then can I place eight cards? Not really, right? But I can play a bunch. Well, actually, next turn I won't get attack, right? So let's just get power split. So I'll do establishment, master reality. Uh, sure, let's do chrysalis, sadistic nature, vault is fine. Then the bomb. One, two. Let me see what thinking it gives me. Judgment and talk to the hand. I have one energy, right? Um, yeah, if I do, if I play everything here. So, Panacea and talk to the hand. I'll be fully defended. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't think I can kill here, though. I do have two vaults. That's a little too much. Let's see what the thinking head gives me. Ragnarok. If I had the Blasphemy, I might have a chance to killing here. No, I think I'll just do... Should I do Alpha? Might not be a bad idea. Let's do, let's do Alpha, Ragnarok, and then Vault. Okay. And then, yeah, Omniscience. Wait, can I omniscient something that might kill? Hand of Greed, one of them will be double damage, right? That's still not enough. What if I do... Wait, I have Judgment too. So Hand of Greed with double damage will be... How am I doing on time, by the way? Do I have the patience to calculate this? Yeah, actually, I only have 13 seconds. Let me wish for Strength, then Omniscience the... Uh, omniscience the um, Hand of Greed. Okay, one of them is double damage and then kill with the Judgment. Is that enough? Ah, four seconds slow. I, I was thinking a little bit too long at the end. I should, probably should, could have perfected that one. Or could have gotten extra time. 1428 is not too bad. I did miss a few elites though, right? So out of the eight possible ones, I perfected six. Actually, I only missed... Which one did I miss? The uh, Nemesis at the very end. And then I guess something on Act 1, right? Or Act 2? Yeah, either way, that's not actually too bad. I did get stuffed beyond perfect overkill. I get I got Highlander, but wasn't able to get curses. Unfortunately, the uh, last curse I was offered was a duplicate Wraith, which is a shame. I wouldn't be surprised if that's card RNG, which means that somebody might have been able to p open that treasure chest and be able to get a unique curse. So an ex easy 100 points would have been possible. Um, and then, yeah, of course, I missed the four seconds from um, being able to get extra 25 points. I was able to get in sympathy, and that was easy. And money, money. If I used Wish a little bit more aggressively, that's another 25 points. So I see an easy uh, 150 points, right? Curses, time, and money, money. Also never got the um, combo modifier, which admittedly there's no good fight where I could have tried to farm it, but it was definitely possible. All right, so I can imagine people getting a much higher score. Let's see where I stand in the rankings. Okay, so each you got 1580. Oh, wow, I didn't even make it in top 40. Oh, I'm 58th. Okay, so let's see. Another 100 points will be 1528. Um, I don't see any familiar... Oh, Vorpal is here with 1503, so that's 75 points more. So that could be Vorpal getting all the other modifiers other than Curses, or Vorpal getting Curses and then um, not getting some of the other modifiers. Ichu got 1580, so that means that Ichu was able to get an extra... Uh, yeah, about 50 points on top of... Yeah, I think maybe maybe Ichu was able to do what I was hoping to do, which is to get Curses, get, play 4 seconds faster, and also somehow get Combo. Yeah, that, that could explain it, but still, that's a really good score. Oh, I also see Pelts here. Pelts got exactly 150 points more, so I wouldn't be surprised if Pelts was exactly able to do what I, what I was hoping to do. Anyway, let me reload with the friends one. I'll review the scores from yesterday. All right, so yesterday was a defect run with the Heirloom modifier. Uh, Heirloom gave you Tori, which admittedly wasn't super useful throughout the whole run. I mean, it helped, but it wasn't run-breaking. Then you also have Control Chaos as well as Binary. Um, so yeah, PGM did really well, tied with Warplay of 1439. I think the biggest difference, and I mentioned it today's run as well, the biggest difference is that um, I picked up Tiny Chests, which changed the RNG uh, a lot, and a lot of other people were able to get the Wing Boots modifier, in uh, Wing Boots Relic, sorry, including both PGM and Warpal. So PGM was able to affect six out of nine elites, remember, I only had seven, so with wing boots, there was it was possible to get another two elites on act, an extra two elites on act four. Uh, perfected all the bosses, got Highlander, Overkill, wasn't able to get combo, but was able to get I like Shiny and Librarian. Um, so I guess wasn't able to get to 50 cards, but was able to get to 35 cards, which wasn't easy yesterday, especially with binary and with most people trying to go for Highlander. So yeah, congratulations there. Vorpal tied uh, PGM, got nine elites uh, also total with wing boots. Um, and I think I'm not sure, so PGM, I think, got the wing boots from an elite i think warpal got it from um i'm actually not sure but yeah so the rng was definitely changed with the tiny chest um and now the thing is i thought that maybe by having tiny chest i would have been able to get i like shiny but yeah both warpal and pjm were able to get i like shiny without tiny chest as well um so warpal in addition to actually i think both warpal and pjm got a late shop as well thanks to the wing boots and were able to buy enough relics enough cards um 
War Paul was also able to get Alex Shine and Liberian. Um, also missed the common modifier, but was able to play much faster. Barely made it under 45 minutes. So it sounds like PGM and War Paul got a very similar run, and congratulations to both of them. Then you have Adjective Now with 1360. Um, Adjective Now perfected, or also fought nine elites with Thieving Boots. Uh, didn't get any speed mo modifiers though. And um, now Adjective Now mentioned that uh, he has started taking the Jax card. Um, you remember there's one event on Act 2 where you have the choice of getting the Mutagenic Strength Relic or taking a card that is zero cost and uh, by taking damage you gain strength. Um, now yesterday there was the Sentient Puzzle so together with that it's actually pretty useful because basically free extra card draw uh, the first time you play it of course. Um, I still am a little hesitant to take it. I think next time when I have Centennial Puzzle I might be more attentive to it but without Centennial Puzzle I'm not sure if I mean the other thing is to take a relic, right? So that might make it like uh, easier to get the I like shiny modifier. But still, Adjective Nanda did really well yesterday. Then you have David with 1271. You can check out his Twitch stream if you, as David mentioned in the comment, like tea and bad puns and random singing. David was able to affect most, most elites and um, all the bosses. But I think just like me, he wasn't able to get the Wing Boots modifier. Um, Sorry, I keep saying modifier. Wing Boots a Relic. And also went for Collector Bonuses, only got two, but still did pretty well. Got Overkill, but didn't get Combo. Then you have Pelzu with 1248. Uh, Pelz also didn't see Wing Boots, um, missed uh, the Time Modifier. Went for Highlander, got Popper, perfected all the bosses, which is not something I did. And then wasn't able to get Overkill and Combo. Actually, uh, Pelz uh, had a lot of trouble finishing on time. And I think if he had realized that he was already missing the one hour mark, he probably should have just, you know, spend more time to get overkill and combo but um yeah i, I guess uh, he he didn't think of that but yeah still pretty good score in 62nd place you have steven here with 1210 uh george with 1200 exactly i'm down here with 1198 i perfected four elites uh didn't have wing boots so only had seven elites total perfected two bosses i missed the act two boss i uh, was able to get alex shiny thanks to the tiny chest but then of course didn't get wing boots with that got overkill on combo and um missed the time modifier only pointed out that in the final boss fight i should have used I had an upgrade push and I should have used it when I had the buffer that would have made it easier but I was able to perfect that last fight anyway and you have gold bear here with 1190 gold bear perfected only three elites but was able to get all the uh bosses and that might be due to a uh, popper gold bear didn't decided not to go for popper then you have Flick Nickum with 1175, uh, Hobo with 1160, Hobo uh, was able or tried to maximize question mark rooms aggressively, so was able to get the Mystery Mission modifier, but um, he was also, also hoping to get curses, but failed and only saw three curses. I think a lot of people yesterday didn't see any curses at all, so it was very difficult to get curses yesterday, but Hobo also missed a lot of elites trying to maximize question mark rooms. Uh, went for Highlander, was able to get Overkill and Combo. And I think that's it for the top. Oh, no, you have Alex here with 1148 and Chef tied with 1148 as well. Uh, Chef went for the popper modifier and just like me, wasn't able to affect the Act 2 boss. Actually, it looks like Chef had a lot of similar modifiers just like me. Was able to get the Alex Shiny modifier as well. And then Milzan got 1,054, uh, so didn't make it into top 140. Uh, perfected two of the nine elites, uh, I think also had wing boots. Perfected only one boss. It was one relic short from getting the Alex Shiny modifier, so that's an extra 50 points there. And then uh, he used Astrolabe um, to get some nice cards, but forgot to remove the multicast. So he also lost Popper somewhat of an accident. So that's an easy 100 points um, that if he had gotten those would have allowed him to get 1154, which would have put, me, put him in 180 place um but yeah i think that's it for yesterday let me know what you did today i am i usually shiny runs are very fun uh, and i think this was a fun run it's just a shame i didn't get cursed at the end i'm sure some people did so let me know if that's the case all right thanks for watching bye